My interest in, in glass is not art. My interest in glass is history. I interpret history through glass. I worked for 30 some years as a volunteer for Wheaton's and we did as many as 15 shows a year on the road with a portable furnace on a trailer. That's my experience. Well, I retired from teaching around 2007 and I started building the building and getting things ready, buying equipment. We started up then, we lit up, and we've been running ever since continuously. It's a very mesmerizing substance to work with. It's not like anything you've ever handled before. You have absolutely no frame of reference for what you do when you start blowing glass. If somebody calls is interested in coming to the shop, they can rent the shop by the hour with an instructor. Without an instructor, if they know how to blow glass, you have to find a public access hot shop. And this is one of them. Yeah, I got a gentleman named Bruce Kiss, and he's taken lessons from Joe Matson, one of my top teachers. I'm a professional photographer, but always wanted to be a glass blower. This is about an hour and a half from my house. I took lessons in groups, and it didn't work for me. I loved it, I wanted more of a one-on-one, -on -one, and that led me to come here, grab a teacher. It has everything that the big shops have. The furnace, it has the glory hole, it has the annealers. So really, for me, it's absolutely perfect. I'm teaching Bruce. Each day that he touches the glass, as he's shaping it, he learns a little bit more. It takes time. It's really mechanical material. Once you touch the glass, you have control of the glass. You're actually teaching the glass to do what you want it to do. Once you learn the rudimental parts of making the material move around, and you do it constantly, one piece after another, after another, after another, it gets to be rote and you can do it all the time. It kind of becomes an addiction. There's revelation that you're taking inert material and making it into a form, and that's pretty exciting stuff. Cut it. So I started on glasses, and then I moved on to plates and bowls, and I started to do wine glasses now. Well, a little harder, has a stem, has a foot, and still have to have the, the bowl shape. Glass is really difficult. Glass is not like clay where you can touch it and you can move it around and you can feel it. You can't touch glass. It's 2100 degrees in the furnace. It comes out at 2000 degrees. So you have to figure out how to do what you want to do without touching it. That's the challenge. What's really great is when you bring a glass home and pour something in the glass and drink it, realize that you made this. You made this from liquid like honey. And it's, it's a great feeling. And the environment here, I'd like to eventually do dinnerware for the house where we could pull it out, maybe on a holiday or something like that, and, and I made that. The glasses I made, the bowl, the dish, I made that. And that would be so rewarding to me. The special attention they give you, it's worth every minute of the trip. It, it doesn't get any better than this. Hi, I'm Shirley Men. And I'm Regina Mitchell. For more videos like this, subscribe to WHYY.